Well, good evening everyone. You probably all know by now that I live with multiple sclerosis and Lyme disease and chemical sensitivity, sometimes known as environmental illness or toxic injury. And as people who live with this know, it's usually quite a challenge to get together with friends and family depending on where you're at with your sensitivities and your intolerances. So I just wanted to share a couple tips, something um, that my husband and I, over years of processing and trying to figure out how to make things work, um, a little tip of what we like to do. And the first thing is to ask people to go fragrance free on their laundry detergent. And yes, that's all the time. It, unfortunately, if you just uh, use a fragrance free laundry detergent and wash your clothes, it's not going to come out. It takes months. To or years for the stuff to come out so it it is a sacrifice and that does need to be changed but then a lot of people they don't want to have to change their shampoo and their soap and their their lotion and their deodorant and their shaving cream and everything all the time so it's kind of like they just don't want to do anything so we don't know what to do so this works for us I don't know if it'll work for you everybody's different so tonight I have my sister-in-law, Melanie Cannell, with us, and I'd like to ask her a few questions. So this is Melanie. I just got my Melanie. <laughs> and um, it, many years ago, I'm not even sure when it was, doesn't really matter, we asked if you would change your laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. And you live um, how many hundreds of miles away from us? I go hours, five hours. That's about a five and a half hour drive. <laughs> so it's not like we see each other all the time, but that is a big commitment to go fragrance free on your laundry detergent, your fabric softener, your dryer sheets, or whatever, if you're only seeing somebody like once or twice a year. Um, so I was just wondering when we asked if you could do that, um, what were the challenges or your concerns? I don't know that I had concerns. I felt like if that's what enabled me to see you, I would do that. So um, I knew it was actually more challenging if I didn't do that because um, there were times we'd go to Denver and we wouldn't know who we're going to see. And I wanted to make sure that if there was an opportunity to see you guys, um, that I was just ready. Mm -hmm. So, I just went fragrance free on soaps and, and the little dryer sheets. I found even downy that has no scent or whatever, but I don't use that very often. It's more the dryer sheets. And um, it's made trips to Denver um, less um, stressful, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, because it hasn't been, a, oh my gosh, what did we forget? Because mm -hmm. it's just done. Mm -hmm. It's just prepared. It's that foundational um, you know, proactive thing that helps family stay connected. So right. that's how I viewed it. So I didn't view it even as a sacrifice. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know some families are concerned about going more natural with their, their laundry detergents and getting stains out and making their whites whiter and things like that. And personally, I use all natural um, laundry products and they're probably gentler of I don't know, they work well for me, but then again, my husband doesn't work in a garage with grease and things like that, right. but um, there are lots of alternatives, but even if somebody has to have a name brand, then they're really stuck. I mean, today, they're all making it, mm -hmm. so there's just, a, you know, like I said, for me, they still have some chemicals in it, and I prefer not to use it, but I don't have any problem with other people. Um, using them. And like of other people with com chemical sensitivities, it's obviously not just the laundry detergents. I mean, it's shampoo and soap and things like that. And like I said before, it can get really overwhelming to think, wow, I gotta change all that stuff or I'm never gonna see that person. So what we've been trying to do is say, well, first of all, it's healthier for your family and it's healthier for you, but if there's certain things that you just don't want to change permanently. You can do this. You can have like a kit of, and there, here's the, the basics, the shampoo, the soap, and the deodorant. And yeah, there's other things like shaving cream and there's hair gel and um, lotions and things like that. You can either just omit that or you can get 
that in your kit as well. So what you do is you use those for a few days before you're going to see your friend or a family member and to, to get residual out of your hair and then you can see them. And so what? how cool is that? Mm -hmm. That there's a solution in most cases that you can just have this kit uh, under your cabinet and you go, hey I want to see you in a couple weeks and you mm -hmm. use it for a few days and I've had friends too who um, actually find out that their hair is softer and <laughs> more manageable and shinier and because a lot of times when you use a shampoo it's got so many chemicals in it it's going to dry it out mm -hmm. and so guess what now you got to get a special conditioner right and then mm -hmm. you use that conditioner and then you have to use this because now your hair is flat and then you have to use that because this part's not staying and so what I find is that the more you use actually um, the, the less healthy your hair is anyway, so. Yeah. So, did you, now I'm going to interview your son about that too to see what he thinks, and he's eight years old, so he's probably going to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> but did you find, how did you handle it when you asked your, your family? You said, okay, here's the shampoos you got to use, and here's the deodorants you got to use, mm -hmm. and how, how did mm -hmm. that go? It went fine. I have boys that um, thankfully don't even use like the hair gel products and stuff. So um, I thought one of them did, but he informed me he did not, because he was doing this at his hair the, yesterday. I'm like, did you use anything on your hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, mom, I don't use stuff on my hair. I'm like, oh, phew. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's just positioning the curls, I guess. <laughs> so um, they have not complained at all. They've just cooperated to the T. Um, they, you know, they want to see you, so they're going to do, do what it takes And they to are see at the you. age to, that they care, too. They're teenagers. Yeah. yeah, three out of the four boys are teenagers. Yeah, so. and they've got to look good. Yeah. You know. And they do. Pressure. They mm, do. They're handsome. They're not only handsome, but they're the sweetest kids I've ever met. If you're they're her friend amazing. on Facebook, go to her page, and she's got them all on the poof surrounding her. <laughs> <laughs> a poof is a big, giant pillow. <laughs> and one of them, and I won't name him to embarrass him, but the other night, he gave me a big hug and a gigantic kiss right on the cheek and it just warmed my heart like crazy. But anyway, so this is my nephew, Cole. Say hi, Cole. Hi. <laughs> and um, this week he was initiated into going totally fragrance free so we could come and visit. And Cole, was it difficult to wash your hair in fragrance free shampoo? Kind of. Really? I like my shampoo better. <laughs> Bad answer. <laughs> Why do you like your shampoo better? Because it's orange, which is one of my favorite colors, and it just looks better. It looks better? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so the packaging's better? Yeah. Oh, okay. But if you had to do it all over again, and your mom said that Aunt Sherry wants to come and visit, would you use the fragrance-free shampoo again? Yes. You wouldn't have any problem doing that? Nope. How come? Um, because it's helping my aunt, and I help. Mm-hmm. And because, is it better to to be able to have time with your aunt than worry about a shampoo for a couple of days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had a great visit. Thank you. Oh. We just wanted to let you know that um, it can happen and friends and family of all the people who live with chemical sensitivities, you can do it. You can. Mm -hmm. And I would talk to your friend or uh, family member and find out exactly what they can and can't tolerate and work out a system of your own. These are some tips that we're using mm -hmm. and because of this we had the most amazing Thanksgiving mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Go to cleanerindoorair.org that's my husband's nonprofit organization for more information on the Choose Friendships or Fra Fragrances campaign and there's a whole list of different alternative products in the store and I really don't care if you buy the products in that store or you buy them somewhere else. Just buy them so you can be with your loved ones. Thank you. <laughs>